converting between measures such as millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres is commonplace in our lives. The process is made nice and simple because of the metric system, which was first proposed by the French astronomer and mathematician Gabriel Mouton in 1670 and relies on powers of 10 to link varying magnitude of length, area, volume and more. We consider the meter to be our base unit, linking in other magnitudes by shifting powers of 10. For example, one kilometer is three powers of 10 larger than one meter. Therefore, to change from meters to kilometers, we need to divide the meter value by 10 three times. Looking at the smaller end of the scale, we have millimeters. The prefix milli denotes a factor of one thousandth. Therefore, a millimetre is 1,000 times smaller than a metre. To convert metres to millimetres, we therefore multiply by 1,000. As the prefix milli means 1,000th, the prefix centi means 100th, so a centimetre is 100th of a metre. All of this information is very much well known, yet when we start to look at area and volume, there are often some misconceptions. We know there are 100 centimetres in a metre, but how many centimetres square are there in one metre square? Pause if you think you can work it out. It's often thought that because there are 100 centimetres in a metre, that the same applies to centimetre square in a square metre. However, we have to consider what square metre means. Simply put, a square that has lengths of one metre we know that because one metre is the same as 100 centimetres. That our square dimensions are 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres. We find the area of a square by multiplying the base by the height, which means that one metre squared contains 10,000 centimetres squared. We can therefore convert any values in metres squared to centimetres squared by multiplying the value by four powers of 10 or back by dividing by four powers of 10. See if you can convert this value in centimeters squared to meters squared. To convert 4,500 centimeters squared to meters squared, we need to divide 4,500 by 10 four times. This gives us an answer of 0.45 meters squared. As you can see in this conversion chart, we can convert between each of the forms using powers of 10 this time, however, the powers of 10 for each conversion are double that they were for lengths. This is because area is found by taking lengths in two dimensions. With this in mind, how many centimeters cubed are there in one meter cubed? Pause the video to see if you can work it out. As with one meter squared, we need to consider what one meter cubed means. A one meter cubed cube is made up of three dimensions, each one meter in length. As we know, one meter equals 100 centimeters, so we can calculate our volume by multiplying these together. There are therefore one million cubic centimeters in one cubic meter. With area, we found our powers of 10 by doubling the length powers. Because volume adds a third dimension, we can find our volume powers of 10 by multiplying the length powers by three. This can be seen here in the conversion table for lengths, areas and volumes. The final conversions we are going to look at are converting cubic measurements into capacities, looking at how many centimetres cubed there are in a litre. A litre is defined as the volume of one kilogram of water, and we also know that one centimetre cubed of water is the same as one millilitre of liquid. As we learnt, milli refers to a thousandth, so there are 1,000 millilitres in a litre. This also therefore means that one litre of liquid is 1,000 centimetre cubed. With this information, see if you can figure out how many litres there are in one metre cubed. Because we change from cubic centimetres to cubic metres by dividing by 10 six times, we can see that if one litre contains 1,000 centimetres cubed, 
it's then equal to 0.001 meters cubed. We can also see that because 0.001 meters cubed is one thousandth of a liter, there must be one thousand liters in one meter cubed. Understanding all of these conversions can be tricky at first, but if you can link the number of dimensions to the change in powers, you'll be giving yourself a head start. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.